So I've been getting a lot of requests for gameplay videos, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an Inside the Mind gameplay on Madden 22. This is a lot raw live gameplay uh, in which I just basically try to break down what I think, why I do what I do in a game, uh, kind of try to explain some of the tips and strategies uh, that I like to use. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you turn on those notifications. You'll see here I like to set my coaching adjust adjustments up if I possibly can. You do that by clicking the right, uh, or R3, clicking the right joystick in. And in this video, I'm running Bunch. Uh, I'm running the, the Seattle, or the Bunch uh, stuff that I like to run. A little hybrid of Bunch tight end, Trips tight end, um, and then also uh, Bunch tight end, of course. So if you want to get access to my Bunch or Bunch tight end offense, that link's going to be in the description. And then on defense, I'm going to be running, um, I think, 2-4-5 odd or in nickel triple, maybe a little bit of both. So if you want to get either of those ebooks, those are all linked down in the description below. If you want to learn what I want, what exactly what I run and why I do it, um, again, all those links are available down in the description. Now, my opinion, uh, starting out a game, I just like to kind of come out and play basic. I like to kind of see like how he's going to defend some of my basic concepts and tell really early on like is this guy good or bad. So so anyways, we're just going to come out, peep it over, see if he can contain me. There he actually does a pretty good job. I'm going to try to release a fade. I don't run peep boot over as best uh, uh, you know as I possibly can. But anyways, uh, my new favorite play, honestly, and I, I know it's going to sound kind of basic. But this is probably my new favorite play in the game right here because this flood concept is really, really hard, especially if they're not doing you know, some of the basic stuff that people need to do, Mabel and stuff like that. So I'll just kind of come out, run a flood concept, just kind of see you know, what I'm facing. As you see here, he's going to be running uh, some nickel 335 wide. And so when people run nickel 335 wide, there's a lot of um, you know kind of presuppositions that I that I bring to the table with that. I think I'm going to get a lot of five man pressure. Um, I don't really feel too worried about it. And if he's going to run cover three, you're going to see here. I'm going to go to a cover three beater out of clear out. I'm not too worried about the pressure out of 335 odd or 335 wide to be honest. And as you see, go up top one play score. That's a nice little cover three beater. Um, shout out to the latest patch that they released on cover three that just made this absolutely insane. And people should never run cover three in the in, in my opinion, at least with the game the way it is right now, unless they're gonna deep half. So um, I also like to go for two most of the time, um, especially if I get ball first. I, f I feel like if I get ball first, there's a lot of pressure in my opinion on my offense because I need to I need to play with a lead. I need to get I definitely need to score my first drive, and if anything, I need to get a two point conversion ideally. So the other thing is that he's running uh, again three three five wide. So the delay fade basically I mean it, it borderline eliminates 335 wide like there's no pressure that they can possibly get and as you see there tight end hook one of my money plays in the red zone we talk about that in the ebook i think it's one of the better plays in the game so off to a pretty good start on offense but to be honest with you it's not saying much in this year's game you know if you can score on offense that's one thing the question is can you get stops i personally <laughs> would rather play defense than offense i'm just running bunch on offense to be honest with you because it's 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 kind of just easy. I mean, I'm going to be doing a new offensive ebook soon. Uh, I've got some really, really good stuff out of the five wide that I want to be that I want to talk to you guys about. So that be on the lookout for that. I've also got uh, a double scheme that I think is pretty good. So you know, we're going to start out just kind of playing basic. This 30 yard uh, flat, 10 yard curl flat, uh, and we're just trying to kind of see, um, you know, honestly, just kind of trying to see like what is he going to do. So you see here that he's coming out in tight. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to base align. When I play tight, I like to play this on base align. And then uh, you're going to see here, we're just going to come out with some, like I said, basic coverage defense. And I should have known he was going to run. I mean, almost everybody that I play online, like they run the ball the very first play. So it is what it is. So here, like I said, we're going to real basic coverage. Everybody, if anyone... Anyone that plays this game knows that this formation has really, really good pressure. So, you know, if he's going to, if he's going, I want to see what, I just kind of want to see what kind of routes he's got on the field before I send the blitz. So I'd rather uh, kind of go with that approach. So you're seeing here, I'm just running real basic uh, Mabel coverage, just trying to keep the lid on, see the routes. Uh, it looks like we're just going to run 0-1 trap every play. If he's going to do that, I'll shift. And this is where I really like um, you know, the nickel triple and, and things we can do from there. I'm just trying to make him pass. Like, if he wants to run on one trap every single play, 
on his first drive, I'm honestly not really that inclined to try to stop it because he's going to math. If you think about it, he's going to literally clock himself out of this game because I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to go down and score. Then he's going to get the ball at half. If he's going to run one trap, like I'm just going to, I'm just going to stay in this because clearly he wants to run a one trap. And I was really bad user play by me. Clearly he wants to run a one trap every play. So I'm going to bank on the fact that I can get a stop when I need one. Like right here, this is where we're going to try to get a little cagey with this. And that's honestly fine. And let's see. I'm not going to burn a timeout. But what I'm going to do is go to the nickel triple, as you can see right here, and just kind of see what he does. A one trap. And I don't know why I can't make that tackle. That's on me. So great drive. We ran the same play every single play. Um, that is absolutely why I don't like to, to stream as much anymore. I normally stream like once a week. You see here, he's going for a field goal. In my opinion, that's one of the dumbest decisions he can make because literally if he if he kicks this field goal, I feel like the game is over now. Um, and that's just how I feel in Madden 22. Like, it, it, unless he did nothing on defense that showed me anything. Um, you know, and, and I'm going to come out and here it's like, okay, and again, this is where – you know, I think this is, again, if you want to win more games in Madden 22, if you want to be able to compete and play really good, you have to be a master of clock management in this game. Like, you just do. You have to. Like, I mean, if he's going to run 01 trap every single play, that honestly doesn't, that's not a big deal to me. Like, because he's now clocked himself out of the game. Because if I go down and score seven, and then I take a, you know, and I go for two and make that um, 16 to seven. He can't – I'm now up two possessions. So, to me, I've won the game. And, again, if my tight end were to release – I don't know why my tight end's not releasing, but there you go. So, as long as I don't turn the ball over on this drive, I feel like the game's over. Like, as long as I go down and score, I feel like the game's over. If I get two points on this game on this drive, I literally feel like the game is over. So, you're going to see I'm going to clock. Um, you know, people want to know how you win more games in Madden. This is how you win more games. You clock, you manage the clock, you manage the game situations. Um, you know, I feel like this year is the most important it's ever been to clock. I really do. So if I'm going to, if I'm playing and I'm trying to win the game, that's what I'm going to do. You're going to see, you know, clock management. You're going to see me play, you know, again, um, you know, more aggressive, you know, and then we're, you have to win the second quarter and third quarter. If you win the second and third quarter in this game, to me, you're gonna win a lot of Madden, so you know that's what I'm trying to do right here, and I'm not I'm not gonna apologize for it again. It's just this is just the nature of the beast this year, you know, and there's just no way. Like the thing is, there's just no way for you to stop everything in this game. You have to pick and choose your spots. Like yeah, you can stop a lot of stuff, but like this flood concept. If I run this, it's really hard. Uh, in my opinion, it's really hard to stop it, especially if you do the motion out right here. So, like, you motion out on this. He's got to go user that. Um, I don't know how he got a – I don't know what just happened on there. I don't know. Did he make – must have made my delay fit glitch out. The other thing is, like I said, he's just running, you know, 3 through 5 wide, send 6, send 5, whatever. So, like, you see how he's standing over the tight end. So, that's, like, my cue. Okay, we'll just block him. You know, we'll just do this. And, you know. It is what it is. You know, you can spin so easily this year. So, you know, again, I'm just trying to manage the clock. I'm not I'm not I'm not interested in, you know, trying to get into a track meet. I'm just trying to like basically get the W. So, you know, again, we're gonna do something like this. Now, if you don't know, like you'll see a lot of people do that. Like they think that that stops the mesh post wheel. And like right here, I'm gonna take it a two minute warning. They say that that's – they think that, that that man coverage will stop the mesh post wheel, but if you have backfield master on your running back, um, like or backfield mismatch or backfield master, either of those abilities. I have backfield mismatch because I'm running um, I'm running Marino with hot route master. So mismatch only costs one AP, so super cheap. Um, if you have that – if they have that ability, you can lowball that very consistently against man. So if he's going to run man coverage, like, I will literally just do this, you know, and, and we'll just say, you know, okay. And just – I'll do it all the way up and down the field because he's not going to – if he's going to stand on the right side, he can't get over there unless he's turbo glitching or whatever. So now you see, look, where he does. You see now he changes his strategy, right? He changes his strategy. Here we're going to run like a little PA boot over. 
little pee a bit over setup. You see, see, he's trying. See how he's trying. This is like the new hotness. A lot of people are trying to do that. They're trying to basically, you know, glitch out your delay fade. You know, and I'm just not interested in in messing with that. So here, mesh post. He has to use or something, and Devin Hester just cost me like 30 yards. I don't know what he was doing. Um, here we're gonna try to quick snap. We're gonna try to honestly quick hack him here. Um, just try to get beat because again, you're just kind of watching his user. You know, if he's not gonna if he's not gonna do that, if he's not gonna go over there, then you know, P but over is hard to stop. I don't know how Marino missed that throw. I'll tell you one thing, like they I don't know why, but like I feel like rolling out of the pocket is no longer the move. I feel like you miss so many throws. Um that's just my opinion. I, I think that the roaming dead eye thing, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just hasn't worked well for me, but I know a lot of people that it has worked well for. So here's Flood. Just kind of testing his zone drop, seeing what he's doing. I think that time he dropped two flat zones to the same side of the field. So, um, or like two hard flats to the right. I don't know. So, again, we're just, you know, again, just clocking. Clock management. Drive's going good. Um, you know, now we're in a situation where we just have to punch it in. And, uh, and we'll be good. Now, notice that, you see, again, his user moves over here to the right. So, when his user, or to the left. So, if you use the left, more than likely, he's going to try to go user that mesh post he didn't right there but more than likely he's going to so now right here this is an interesting decision what i like to do is go and he burned a timeout see how we get in this again we get in this little chess match and and that's that's the whole like you know again if you want to be competitive this is what this is how you win more games um you know you do stuff like this you clock you you know i'm good honestly if i get three i feel like if i get three here I've, i feel like i've already won the game to a degree like him, him choosing to to not go for two, I feel like is going to cost him the game. So, anyways, we're just trying to take clock. We're not even trying to score here. We're just trying to go down. Because I'm not interested in him getting the ball back. You cannot give the ball back in this game. I'd rather take three and not give him the ball back than give him the ball back. And You know what I mean? I just would rather do it this way. Um, he's literally not throwing a single pass yet. And he's going to – should call a timeout here. See if he does or doesn't. I'm surprised that he's not. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let it run. Okay. So now this is a little bit of a decision. So do you go for this or do you not go for this? Well, I feel really good on offense. I don't feel like he can really stop me. Now again, he probably honestly can. Um, you know, but I'm gonna at least come out and look and see what he's doing. Why? Because I've already got a one possession lead, right? I already got a one possession lead. So if he comes out of halftime and he goes down, he scores, he kicks his field goal which is what he already did once, he might do that again. So this is kind of a, a situation here. And you notice that he goes to this different defense. So this different defense tells me that he's probably going to send some pressure. So I'm going to go with this. And you know what? We're going to roll the dice a little bit. And there's a touchdown. So what he did, I was just kind of mainly watching. I'm not sure how that happened. I guess I scored. Did it let me? Did, it, did I score? Okay, I did. Okay, perfect. Um, sometimes you don't know. So now what I'm going to do, um, and this is where, again, this is kind of game management, but I'm going to go for a field goal. The reason why is because I feel like at the end of the day, if I have to stop him, I'm going to be able to stop him. He just hasn't shown me anything. Like, oh, one trap every play doesn't, you know, doesn't give me anything that I really need to worry about. So I'm going to take a field goal. Why? Because I go up by eight. I'm going to put pressure on him now. He's got all the pressure in the world coming out of halftime. As long as I don't give up a kick return right here. So what we're gonna, uh, we're not gonna squib. We're, what I like to do is sky kick it, and uh, and kick it to the right. And then again, we're just coming out and we're gonna man up. He's probably gonna run the ball. Let's see if he fair catches. Um, okay, then that's half. Okay, good job. So now he's gonna get the ball. And again, I don't care if he runs the ball every play. If he wants to run the ball every play, he will mathematically clock himself out of the game. He will literally clock himself out of the game. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Is like you have to kind of pick and choose what you're going to take away and what you're not. If you try to go to a significant heavy run defense and then they throw a laser on you, I'm not – I'm not. I, I, if the worst possible thing that I could do right now is let him score fast. That's the worst thing that could happen. So I need to be playing my defense in that same manner. So you're seeing here 30-10. And then we're looking at what he's going to come out in. But more than likely, so now you see Gun Bunch. Okay, so now he's in it. Now, now this tells me what it communicates is he's ready to pass the ball. 
So, you know, now we're going to do the same thing. So you see here, okay, we'll do this. And, and that's what you get. And, and okay, good. You know, that's fine. Because again, this game is so much about game management. It really truly is. You know, I'm not even worried about, like, he's going to flip and I'm really not even interested. I'm not interested in this. I'm just interested in playing coverage, you know, seeing what he's going to do, um, seeing how much verticals is he going to actually run versus what, you know, he's going to show. And, you know, we're just not in a position where we really need to be worried about him right now offensively. Really not. So you see here, he's going back to gun tight. So you've got to anticipate, you know, there, there's probably going to be some kind of run. So I'm just going to stand right here, try to blow it up, just kind of see what he's doing. There's your post, double drags, the Mabel coverage does a great job. And as you see, you know, whatever. So again, you look at, the, you really have to, when, when you're wanting to play for, for serious and you're really wanting to win the game, you have to take things like this into consideration. These are really, really important things. Um, like, okay, and we're just trying to keep him in balance. Look at the clock, just tick, 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 tick. Ideally, he scores, um, you know, at the four-minute mark or uh, at the fourth quarter. If we can hold him until the fourth quarter, I'd feel really good about that because um, then we just need a field goal to win. And, you know, that, that again, it, it, I'm not saying that this is how I play whenever I'm just chilling on stream or whatever, but if you want to see how this defense works, you're picking and choosing your spots, man. You have to. You have to pick and choose. You cannot stop everything all the time. I really think that's a really, really important tip. So anyway, here. And see, see how I forced it? And, and again, and this is why you can't get – this is honestly, this is why you have to play defense like this. And this is why you have to play like this. You drop so many interceptions in this game – that you have to do stuff like this. So you're seeing, like, we're just chilling. We're not, you know, we're not even putting pressure on him because he hasn't proven that he's that good of passer. I'm looking at his routes to kind of see what he's doing. Um, you know, it's nothing real crazy. And, again, see how he's trying to run out of bounds? Because he knows the clock. He knows the clock is a problem. So he can't continue to run. He literally can't continue to run. So we're just running this, just chilling. Um, you know, again, just simple. You know, okay, that's fine. And keep him in bounce. And again, you see the clock ticking. This is like clockwork. Like, um, you know, I mean, this is literally like clockwork. Here we're going to send some pressure just to kind of change it up on him, see what he does. Um, he runs a one trap. And I really was hoping, let me see if I can do, I can't. Let me do protect the sticks. See how he defends. And this is a little risky. I've really got to watch these streaks. I don't know how that's not a pick. And, of course, I bet you that's a PI. That's, that's Madden 22, man. That's Madden 22. That is Madden 22 to a T. So, I mean, that is what it is. As you see, you know, it's just that, that that's what I'm talking about. That's literally why you have to play like this. A one trap, every play. And that's his run. So I could have shut that down. I made it. I was on me. I was actually trying to stop him there. So now he has to go for it. And uh, if I was a betting man, I bet you we're going to see a one trap. Um, you know, so I've kind of pigeonholed, forced the game the way this runs. And now I've gotten in a situation where I've got a chance to be able to get a stop here. So, um, you know, this is kind of, like I said, this is the whole point. There we go. Good game. And he's going to fall in for two. I mean, that's that's Madden 22. That is literally Madden 22. It's like, you know, you can't you can't automatically assume you're going to get a stop in Madden 22. The way it works, the drop, there's so many reasons as to why zone coverage is completely bugged out of its mind. The, um, you know, how, how like just how the, play, the game plays, it's so hard to assume you're going to get a stop. So what you need to do is as you see, we clock managed him out of the game. And we forced him into situations where he's going to have to work, he's going to have to work, he's going to have to work. Well, now, look where he's at, right? So, you know, again, the defense played fine. Honestly, it played fine. Um, not mad at all at how the defense played. It's just the way this game freaking plays, man. It really is. So here, you've got to stay in balance. Really important. A sled instead of run out of balance for the extra yards. Um you know, we're basically, this should be, if you're, again, if you're trying to win the game, 
this is the last drive of the game. This is the last drive of the game. To me, this is like, again, this is just kind of how you have to play this year, uh, at least until they, um, uh, until like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't foresee this game changing that much more. Like I foresee some of the bugs happening and whatnot, but for the most part, like, you know, I think the run game, no one even realizes how hard it actually is to consistently stop the run in this game because your user is just not good. Um, you know, and I think that's ultimately the biggest thing. Like your user is, you're running in quicksand every time. So you see, like I could run inside zone every play and it, it would be, you know, it wouldn't necessarily always work, but it, it definitely is effective. And again, right here, it's like, okay. How many yards do I need for a field goal? This right here I'll show you is one of my favorite plays. This is flood, um, but it's basically flood as if you were running kind of like double post. And I feel like it's really complicated, and oftentimes they leave this drag wide open. Now I've got a, this. This is why I don't play on conservative, especially on mutt, um, is I want to be able to slide. If you play on conservative, I'm pretty sure that you can't slide. So that's why I like to do that. And, again, you're just seeing, I mean, it's just like clockwork. It's – it's not hard to move the ball in this game. Um, it's hard to get a stop. And so, you know, I feel like I had two or three different stops that the game basically just completely said, we're not going to let you have this as a stop. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying I feel like this is a more calculated way to play. And where you get in trouble, where I feel like I get in trouble especially, is when I try to bomb every play and try to just score a million points. If I play consistent offensively, I think that's a lot better than just scoring a million points. So you see here, like, he's getting really aggressive. I didn't want to go out of bounds, but I had to throw that because I didn't have anything else. And now, like, it's just full clock, man. Like, obviously, ideally, we score seven. Ideally, he just doesn't touch the ball and we kick a field goal to win the game. Um, you know. Literally, and that's three three five wide. Everybody says three three five wide has got great run D. It just like he's he's not gonna. As long as you double team the nose tackle, it's gonna be really hard to stop the run. Like it just truly, I mean, just the way the game works, it's not easy to stop the run for for like a loss. You'll you'll contain it. You'll stop it for two to three or whatever. But you're not gonna you're not gonna just absolutely shut down every run in the game with one defense, especially the three through five wide or the two four five odd. You're gonna have to go to something like you know what I did out of triple two four five. You might even have to go down into some three four sets um, because the locomotion is so bad this year, and there's just so many reasons as to why. Uh, right here, this is actually a really big down. Uh, I need to be very very. Uh, it's just a really important down. So you're going to see I'm going to do a little different setup, kind of a heavy, you know, again, he's blitzing. There's my curl. Haven't hit that all game. I mean, it's pretty much been there. I mean, he just literally, I, mean, I, I, I don't know what to say, guys. This is literally the formula for winning games in this game. Even if I, even if you don't get the ball at half, you you know, um, I will say getting the ball at half, I think is a significant advantage. But you'll see right here. Just run. So we're going to take all his timeouts. Um, and then, you know, again, this is a weird situation. You know, we, we can't quite clock him out in this. So ideally, we're going to score. Um, like I said, this is kind of a tricky situation. So you see he's kind of setting up some defense. I think I'm going to do this. Let's do like a delay flat to the time in, in case they blitz me. And I threw it and didn't catch it. That's frustrating. So there should be another timeout. So now we have a little bit more room, though. And honestly, I'd feel better... I feel better with the room we have. It's like third and 19. I'm trying to think of what I want to call. I'm pretty sure he's going to call. I'm trying to think what he's going to call. I 
I feel like Z-Spot is honestly the right call here. Actually, you know what? Let's go verticals. And instead of the... Let's do smoke screen. And an angle route. Ah, I threw a pick. That's so bad. Okay, that's not good. Oh, I blew that. Oh, it's so frustrating. Ah, he had a yellow zone. Like, why would you have a... Ah, it's just... Mm. I thought I could fit it in. I thought the yellow was drifting inside. He totally wasn't. And now I'm in a weird position. But I will say I'm not in a terrible position because... I mean, I'm not in a great position. But, like, he can't just run the ball. He has to throw. So... I'm kind of hoping... I hope he thinks he can run. I'm right, right there, but it won't let me tackle him. There's a sack. Now I take timeout. And now we're not in a tear. You see what I'm saying? Like, he hasn't been able to really throw the ball. Like, and I knew, again, you pick and choose your spots. You pick and choose your spots. So like right here, this is the best blitz that I have, and I've saved this the entire game. Haven't ran it all game. We're gonna try to get it in here. I've just got to watch a streak or a cross route. That's all. If he if he throws either one of those, see, I'm gonna go right to it. There's a sack. Now I've got a punt, and now I'm getting the ball back. So I make a huge mistake, but again, I've saved my best stuff. I've saved my best stuff for when I needed it. Sacked him twice on that drive. Stopped his little 0-1 trap run. Now we get the ball back in a really good position to be able to let it sling and let it go and go get three and win the ball game. Now, again, it's not ideal. Obviously, um, you know, I made a huge mistake, almost lost the game. But, again, I kept the defense back. I, 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 you guys probably were thinking, like, in the early parts of this game, why aren't you blitzing? Why aren't you doing more? This was why. I didn't have to blitz. I don't – if you don't have to send a ton of heat, if you don't have to show a ton of stuff, in my opinion, you shouldn't do it. And the re and this right here is exactly why you shouldn't do it. You know? All right, we'll take a timeout right there because I can go ahead and spike it on this next play. And we just need to get about 15 yards. If we get about 15 yards, I'd feel good. So what we're going to do here... I don't really want to run this on this side. Yeah, we're going to run verticals. And we're going to flip on him. So I think I can hit this crosser and just get out of bounds. Or hit the wheel. I didn't get enough yards. Dang it. I'll just spike it. Okay, this is a hundred percent flood. Like this is like the perfect time to call, like flood, um, in my opinion. And then we're gonna actually run like a skinny post, just in case he bu just in case he busts like his coverage. And then you'll see right here we're gonna block everybody. Literally, it's the out router bust. There you go. GG's. See what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, I made a huge mistake on that third and 22. I was trying to, again, when you try to do too much in this game, I feel like that's when you lose. When you just, when you just like take what the defense gives you and on defense, when you, when you don't get so mad that like you can't stop somebody, because like, that's my thing. I get mad when I, when I just feel like I'm getting dotted and dotted and dotted and there's nothing I can do. Like, you've got to stick to your formula. You've got to stick to your system. you got to stick to your game plan, in my opinion. Um, and hopefully we won't get – hopefully we won't miss this kick. And I think – yep, accurate kick. GG's. Thanks for watching the game. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you thought of the game.